BNI. We are so excited to have you here today. I'm Paul Kroger and uh, my co-host Felicia Johnson. Felicia, how are you doing this week? I am doing well. You know, it's amazing how fast summer has gone by. It's like it's, now we're talking about kids going back to school and what that looks like. So life continues on, but I am excited today to connect with our guest. So our guest has been in BNI for a while now, I think a decade. So congratulations on that. Um, and Tracy is going to tell us a little bit about the sales coaching ninjutsu that she does. And, uh, but before we get too much into your business, hey, Tracy, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited to be with you guys. I, you're, two, some of, you're two of my favorites. So this is fun. Well, tell us a little bit more about you. I mean, we've got some great photos here. Thanks. So this is our family. Um, the kids and I moved here to North Little Rock um, two, 10 years ago for John and I to be married. Um, so the kids were little then. Emily was, or let me think, 11 and Jack was six, I think, or five. I can't do math. Anyway, I, seven, sorry. Um, and so we got married and started my career here. Um, I call them the monkeys because when they were babies, they climbed everything they could climb. Uh -huh. It was ridiculous. And so my mom called them that one day and I was like, that's, that's what they are. So I refer to them on Facebook as monkey and it's, it's kind of stuck. Uh -huh. um, I graduated from Tulsa University, loved every minute of that. Tulsa's amazing city. Um, and that other picture, is our Labrador Patton. He is, we joke that he's our favorite child because he doesn't <laughs> sass us and he doesn't cost us a lot of money. Doesn't talk back. He doesn't talk back. <laughs> he's happy all the time. No matter what you feed him. No matter what fine. we feed him. He is, yeah, he is happy. Yeah. That is amazing. And so you connected with BNI in 2010, like round of applause, like 10 Thanks. years. Thanks. So. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for being yeah. part of our organization. So with that, you are very familiar, I'm sure, with the BNI core values. So I would love to know what is your favorite core value? What resonates with Tracy the most? My favorite, ha it has always been giver's game. When mm -hmm. I learned about that motto, I was like, I got it. That's me. That's my heart. Because I firmly believe that the more what you put out into the world is what you're going to receive back. And the more I focus on other people, my, I will grow. I will have prosperity. It will just happen. And that is so authentic to me and my spirit. It's so much easier for me to say, Paul, Felicia, what can I do for you? How can I help you grow your business? Than it is for me to ask for anything for myself. So I love that. And I tell people that when I'm asking them to come visit, I'm like, look, this is a room full of people that want to help you. And they have to, because that's our motto. So, you know, it's kind of already ingrained in the culture. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. I love the giver's game uh, mindset as well. So that resonated with me too. So when we're thinking about your business, okay, Tracy, you know, like, you know, we, we go back a little bit in far as in like real talk. So right. a lot of times when, you know, people hear the word sales, it could be like, er, er, er. so tell yeah. us what it is that you do. What is the sales coaching and how does, how do you work with individuals in that area? That's a great question. And the minute somebody hears sales, they do go, er, it's like the record on the, on the turntable. Mm -hmm. And they think, oh, that's not for me. I don't need that. And the thing of it is, um, I giggle when somebody says, oh, I'm not a salesperson. And I'm like, yeah, you are. If you've ever talked a toddler into eating their vegetables or wearing a coat when they didn't want to wear one, or you've talked your significant other into watching that movie that you wanted to watch, you are a salesperson. Sales is all about connecting with other people, building relationships, and we are all in a sales role. It doesn't matter what your occupation is, what, you, you know, what you're doing in life everybody has a moment where they need to convey a message. And that's all sales is, is conveying messaging. So as a sales coach, what I do is help people make sure their messaging is clear, concise, and confident. Um, 
when a customer or a client, or even if you're trying to convey a message to a family member, when the other party is confused, they will not purchase. They will not buy in. They will not understand what you mean. They will quietly take their wallet and they'll go somewhere else. I mean, think about how many times you've gone to make a purchase and the information you've been given is so over your head that you're like, hold on, I, I can't even make a decision here. And you just let it go. And mm -hmm. so we don't want that to happen when we're building a business. We want to be sure that we are speaking at a level that everyone can understand, the general public. And we are um, making sure that they know I understand your problem. I can solve your problem. I can help you. And so that's what I do with my clients is help them craft the best messaging to convey to their clients that they have their solutions and that they are the person that they need to consider for that job. Mm, that is awesome. Because like I said, you know, sales, I used to be one of those people that I'm not a salesman, either you want it or you don't. And that that is it. But I know through some of the conversations that you and I have had, it's just like, okay, like, yes, like, like I said, you made it practical of we're doing this every day. Yeah. You know, even with, you know, relationships, it's like, we are selling ourselves, but it's just all about that mindset with that. So is it that you help people to verbally say what they need to say? Is it more of your like writing focus? It's like, do you have a particular, you know, niche or area per se that you help with your clients specifically? That's a great question. Um, both because um, every client is unique. So the important thing, is, and a lot of people ask me, well, what does your coaching look like? What kind of you know, programming do you have? And I don't, I don't really have a program, a set menu. Um, I like to meet my clients where they are, ask them what their needs are, look at their industry that they're in, and then we figure out, are their needs more verbal or are their needs more written? Um, I have a client right now, I'm reworking some uh, of the written word on his website, but I'm also helping him when he is verbally conveying his message to his BNI chapter. So um, I can help people when you are a business person and someone's, you're at a cocktail party or you've heard the elevator pitch uh, situation where you're in the elevator and you've got 30 seconds to tell somebody what you do in a very clear, confident way. We have to be ready for that. At that cocktail party, when somebody says, hey, what do you do? You can't just be like, oh, what, wait, what do I do? You want to be able to convey that in a way that they're gonna understand. So I help people with both verbal communication and written. Um, writing has been something that I've loved my entire life. And my mom said I was a talker from birth. So, you know, I got both covered. Yes. Well, I know I have personally used your services in that area because like with that elevator pitch with life coaching, it could be such this array of different things and you're like always trying to figure out how am I going to explain this? Mm -hmm. And so it is really great in that regards of the service that you provide. So if anybody has any questions about that, I can definitely verify that the service is fabulous and help me to be able to succinctly describe what I do to hey. individuals. So I appreciate that. Thank you. For sure. Well, Tracy, going back to those values and back to the business, mm -hmm. um, one of the questions we ask everybody who comes on the show is why should I invest my time and my money in BNI? So in, in your words, in your opinion, yeah. BNI. Oh gosh, there's so many things that are swirling through my head right now. You know, time is money and money is time. And for B&I, what I share with people about why I love it, why I believe in it, it goes back to the giver's gain philosophy. When I moved here 10 years ago, I left not only my friends and my family two hours away, but I also left my professional network. Mm -hmm. I had no contacts. I had no network. I needed to find a way to build a professional network in a very short amount of time. At that time, I was a mortgage loan officer and I had to build my own portfolio. It was on me to do it. So if you are looking for a way 
to grow your business in a very time efficient way and, and cost efficient way, in my opinion, BNI is a bargain. Um, when you look at what it can give you, I think it's, uh, it's a no brainer. One thing that I like to point out to people with regard to BNI is that it is global. It's called Business Networking International for a reason. And my business, for example, and Felicia's business are not um, limited by borders. We are not limited by state licensing or limited to the U.S. even. So what's exciting for me is as a BNI member, not only do I have um, my membership in my chapter and that seat, but I also can visit other chapters and that do not have anybody in my category, connect with those members and potentially have help, help them with referrals and then also um, be able to see if they need my services for sales coaching. So it is a way to have a, a sales force of people that are in your chapter looking for you business, which saves you time because there's only one of me but I have 25 people in my chapter that are also listening for me. And, you know, then I've got access to the global BNI marketplace, which is really cool. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Tracy. Well, congratulations. This is my favorite part Thank of you. our time together where we recognize you for being in the green. Thanks. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say my chapter makes it easy that it's, we've got a great chapter. You know, they just, they're such top shelf people in that group that I have no problem sending my mother-in-law to somebody in that chapter, you know, no problem. Go ahead. Shout out your chapter. What's your chapter? BNI the tiger. BNI of the tiger. Shout out to BNI of the tiger. They're awesome. awesome. So Tracy is sharing just a little bit of what she does for for BNI and her services you provide, and also her excitement about being a member. So, if you're watching this show today and you're not a part of BNI, you would love to know more about okay, how do I get an awesome chapter like BNI of the Tiger? We would simply say, just take out your camera phone right here, and all you got to do is just open that camera app, and you can scan that QR code and it will take you to information that you can submit to learn more about becoming a BNI member. So we thank you so much for joining with us today. I'm Felicia Miller Johnson. Paul Kroger. Tracy Beavers. And this is In the Green with BNI. Mm -hmm.